Now I know I can find love. I know I can still be a performer. I know that I can have a family. I want to be a mom one day. And I absolutely can. And that's why the narrative still has a long way to go because when I was grieving Boy Dylan, I didn't know those things were even accessible to me. Womanhood is my birthright and I will not sign it away. Hi, my name is Grace Evans and you're watching Unwoke. Womanhood is not a costume to be worn. Womanhood is not a personality you can put on and take off. Womanhood is not a hormone cocktail. Womanhood is not a feeling. Womanhood is not a surgery. Women are born. They are not worn. Women are more than makeup and hair products. Women are mothers. Women are daughters. Women are homemakers. Women are beautifiers. Women are helpers. Womanhood is a biological reality ordained by God. Womanhood is good. So when did we start defining women by what men can do? When did we start seeing femininity as weak? If we continue to measure women by manliness, then we will always fall short. We will never be good enough. If we have to be more like men to be seen as strong, brave, and competent, then our womanhood will be stripped away piece by piece until we are completely erased. Here's the bottom line. You will never know what it's like to be a woman if you were born a man. I can't believe I live in a world where saying this sparks controversy and gets me, a woman, called a bigot. But I'll speak the truth again and again because I'm already seeing womanhood erased and I refuse to stand idly by. I envision a world where my daughters are held to the standards of femininity, not manliness, a world where their identity is protected, not mocked. And so I say to the world clearly, motherhood is an exclusively female role and this disgraceful pantomime of femininity must end. Stop painting real women as haters and start seeing those who trivialize women and wear it as a costume as the oppressors. The sad thing is, when people pretend to be the opposite sex, it's not something to be celebrated. It probably means that someone needs help. Women have fought long and hard for our rights. In the 19th century, we fought for our right to education. In the 20th century, we fought hard for our right to vote. And now, we fight for our right to even exist. Today, men tell us to be quiet if we feel displaced, disgraced, and erased by men playing dress up. Men can put on sparkly dresses, wear flashy makeup, buy children, and rent wombs in order to appease their discomfort with their own body. But men will never be women. Womanhood is my birthright, and I will not sign it away. Thanks for watching this episode of Unwoke. You can subscribe by going to mfc.org slash subscribe or by clicking the link in the description. Don't forget to turn on post notifications and follow us on Instagram and TikTok at MN Family Council. Get the facts, stand for truth.